Hey guys, it's Mad Chen here. I hope you're all doing well. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to draw a bubble in Procreate. You'll want to stick around until the end of the video as I'll give you a bonus tutorial on how to turn your bubble drawing into a bubble brush so that you can create designs like this. Welcome back everyone. I'm using a 2048 by 2048 pixel canvas. If you'd like to know how to create this canvas, I will leave a tutorial link in the description below. So now let's get on with the tutorial. So first, go to the color wheel and choose black. Then drag black onto the canvas. Next, go to layers and toggle off the background color layer. Then add a new layer. Go back to the color wheel and choose white. Next, go to the brush library and in the calligraphy category, choose the monoline brush. Now draw a circle on the canvas and I'll tap with a finger with my other hand to create a perfect circle. Next, click on transform and place the circle in the middle of the screen using the orange cross as a guide. When finished, click on transform again to commit. Then we'll drag white onto the circle. Next, go to layers and duplicate that circle by swiping left on the circle layer and clicking on duplicate. For now, I'll toggle off the top layer and click on the circle layer below to work on that one. Next, we'll click on the erase tool up here. You'll need to click it twice to open the brush library and in the airbrushing category, choose the soft brush. I'll make the brush size 20% before I start erasing. It's easier to start erasing from the middle of the circle than slowly work your way out to prevent mistakes, resulting in an even white outline for the circle. Make the outline the same thickness as you can see on the screen. You don't need to rush this part. Just take your time until you're happy with the result. Then we'll go back to layers and toggle on the top circle layer. Then we'll click on the top layer to work on that. Next, click on the transform tool and I'll use my fingers to pinch the circle to a smaller size. Keep pinching the circle until you see a little bit of black shadow on the edge of the smaller circle. Next, use the orange cross as a guide to center the circle. Then click on transform to commit. This time, take the brush size down to 9% and start erasing like so, creating two crescent shapes on the edge of the smaller circle. Just remember, you don't need to rush. Just take your time until you're happy with the result. After you're happy with how you deleted the middle, go to the outer edge of that smaller circle and start deleting the hard circular line. As an example, you can see that the hard line for the smaller circle begins to disappear as I erase. I'll do the same for both sides before we continue. When your project looks something like this, go back to layers and click on the bottom circle layer. Then bring the brush size to 20% and start erasing from the middle until yours looks like this. If you need to make any adjustments, just go back to layers and choose the layer that you want to work with, making sure to fix any hard lines. If you're enjoying the content so far, you can give this video a like and let me know in the comments below how you're doing with your drawings. If you have any problems, you can also leave your questions down below. Now let's get back to the tutorial. Now here comes the fun part. We're going to add highlights to our bubble drawing. Go back to layers and add a new layer at the top. Then we'll go to the brush library and in the luminance category, select the light pen. Then bring the brush size to max and draw two curved lines like this, one longer than the other. 
and draw another long line with a dot at the end and I'll add two shorter lines over here and three more shorter lines over here. Next, I'll go back to layers and add a new layer. Then I'll go back to the brush library and choose the flare brush. Make sure the brush size is at 20% and tap twice on your bubble like this. Now we need to prepare the bubble drawing to make the bubble brush. Go back to layers and swipe right on all the layers. Then click on group up here then tap on the down arrow over here. Now duplicate that group by sliding left on the group layer. Then tap on duplicate. Toggle off the bottom group so that we can work on the top one. Then we'll click on the top group thumbnail and choose flatten from the list, which will merge all of the layers together. Next, click on the bubble thumbnail and choose copy from the list. So now let's make a new brush with our bubble. Go to the brush library and you can choose any category to place your brush in. For this tutorial, I'll only be showing you the settings for the bubble brush. If you'd like a more detailed tutorial on brush making in Procreate, I'll leave a tutorial link in the description below. To create a new brush, click on the plus icon up here to take you to the brush studio. The first thing we'll do is click on Shape on the left, then click on Edit up here, then click on Import, then click on Paste. That looks nice, so we'll click on Done on the top right. On the right side of the screen, you can see that our bubble looks squashed. We'll need to go to Settings to fix this. Click on the Drawing Pad up here, then click on Clear Drawing Pad. Then click on the drawing pad again and bring preview size to max. Next, click on stroke path up here on the top left and bring spacing to 60%. Next, click on stabilization on the left and bring the amount to max. Then bring pressure to 30%. Next, go to Properties on the left and bring Preview Size to 30%. Then take Smudge Pull to 0. Then for Brush Behavior, make the maximum size 300% and take Minimum Opacity to Max. Then click on Done on the top right. So now it's time to test the new bubble brush. This is looking pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. You can also change the brush size to get different sizes for our bubbles. You can also learn more about Procreate through watching my other tutorials. And I'll see you in the next Procreate tutorial. And as always, thanks for watching.